Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to be reviewing this Utel 200 AP200 today. Today we're going to be doing a full review on this Maxi Utel AP200 Bluetooth device. So guys, to operate this device what you're going to need is your phone, Android or Apple, uh, tablets, whatever's got Android and Apple. So what you will need to do is get onto uh, Google Market and you'll have to go and download Utel Maxi AP200. You install it and open it up. What you need to do is register the device. And you put in your email address, get to put in your details. And then you go to verification code, hit that verification code guys. Done and then you'll get a, an email back to your email address. It's a really light device. And I could easily just put it in my pocket. Put it in the car. Glove compartment somewhere. And it's very very light. And you go put this into your vehicle and um, once your Bluetooth's connected. So you'll get a message back from Utel once you verified and you get a code that you go in and you put that in when you verify in and you're good and ready to go. So if you just copy this. So guys we've got our phone ready, we've got our device ready. So now we're ready to go to the car and test it out. The interface looks really really good. So let's go and see how it works. So guys once you've uh, uploaded that app, you come into your car, you find your OBD slot and you slot it in there and you see there's a green light. And it's got a very nice interface, so it's not connected yet, so they're saying in this corner there's no VCI. So how we link this? So guys, you have to go and scan it to link it and then it's blind. Connect VCI to read serial number. No VCI, so we go back. So guys, once we've connected, once we've did the scan of the vehicle, we go back in and we push it back in with the green lights on. We try to reconnect it. So guys, when the OBD is inserted into the OBD port, first thing you need to do is go into the Bluetooth on your phone or whatever device you're using and you need to go and locate this AP Cup 2 KB you press that and let it pair you press OK then you go back into your Utel device the Utel and you will see in the top far right hand corner it's got a tick so that's when you know uh, it's ready to connect to your vehicle now. So currently it's just unzipping maybe all the data. So now that's unzipped. It looks like it's got all, that, all, all your main vehicles, all the high-end ones and the low-end popular vehicles, the Land Rover, Lamborghini. The vehicle is free and permanently valid please get in on time so I think you get one free and then after that I think to buy other ones it'll be £21.99 so if we go into diagnostic we go into EOBD auto scan general so it's detecting it's auto detecting this is the Audi A4 and let's see what it could find us what module so this is what it's detecting here is all the modules. Okay. Detected. So we go in. Okay. Communication status. So if we look here, it's got all of these features that this one DTC FFD. So if we go into this and see what it has to say. Trouble code, no fault codes found at the bottom here. If there was clear default code, save us PDF, escape. So that's not too bad. 
and this feature on the top right here has that data being recorded or VCI if you just want to escape go to the readiness this driving cycle so let's have a look at the live data so it automatically detected the vehicle and it's found what modules it can use so there's no DTC engine coolant temperature shortcut engine RPM intake air temperature so if we turn it on the vehicle see if it finds anything more so it's got very limited life data for the vehicle onboard monitor component test okay so it doesn't support some component testing so if I wanted to collaborate a throttle or something maybe I need to pay for the version or it doesn't do it onboard monitor just that's sensor monitor bank one so it's just doing some monitoring so I guess at the minute it's TID minimum 83 max of 0 0.849 switch to lean sensor switch time there is just a few monitoring test vehicle information turn key on engine off Some general information let's see if it comes with the correct yes it's giving you the VIN collaboration and a bit of information there tracking spark ignition engines so this is very handy to know monitoring condition we encountered so it's got the data there save as PDF vehicle status engine no status off codes found none monitors so in comparison to the obd11 it does give you very limited data for a vag vehicle but for basic features it does the job it's it's not too bad so we found is one so if i go back and auto scan hit my hands so let's have a look at that this may be a enhanced feature of it so the scans takes a bit of few seconds and a minute to scan all of this now we're going to go check what protocols it's got so it's got can pwm iso 941 communications so it does have a lot of stuff but it's a bit more advanced so the interface is nice easy smooth to go from a place to another i don't feel it's very hot unlike the obd11 where the battery like it drains out really quick this one here it doesn't seem that but it just takes time to load you, know, you just have to keep playing around and different things you're looking for is probably in different places so you have to go into each can bus or different modules but once we've did the diagnostics there's also service so oil reset tpms pws immo keys and throttle so it's got all of these features but some features you may need to pay for and um, it's probably in the demo version until you download the full, full version of it and repair reports gives you a report like that that's really nice it gives you your vehicle report diagnostic what time you've done it the VIN number so we just reviewed this hotel and I thought it was very Hello. good very easy to um, navigate around very basic compared to the OBD 11 at first I did find it a bit tricky to connect to the VCI 
but all I needed to do is connect my Bluetooth to the phone firstly and then it was simple and then just navigating it around it was very easy but I was only on the basic version so it did what I needed to do to check the ETCs, erase them but to do all the features I always think you'll have to pay but paying for it and other devices out there that may be able to do them things without needing to pay but it is very handy if you got multiple vehicles in your house so try and get my Audi it, it had everything but you need basics so it's really good very portable it's got all the information what other diagnostics will give you overall sums up thanks for watching please like and subscribe